All right, guys. Well, without further ado, here it is. Grand Finals, 8-Bit Man versus Andrew representing Mexico. Sorry, we talked about it, man. Mexico, possibly one of the best regions out here in Andrew here in Grand Finals of MSM Online versus 8-Bit yeah. Man. Two-time winner of MSM Online. Let's see how things go, man. Yeah. So Andrew gets his run back. Funny enough, dude, Andrew has, like, looked very good against everyone except 8-Bit Man. <laughs> like, oh, damn. The speak of the devil, like, Stars. He, he's, uh, I think outside of the Wadi said he, like, 2 and 3 on most people he played in this entire tournament. And, uh, and 8-Bit Man, of course. 8-Bit Man 3 him, which is... Look at that patience for 8-Bit oh. Man. He gets that neutral there, he waits for Andrew to respond. See if he can get that sneaky down tilt. So known for. Wow! Oh no my gyro. god! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I hate 8-Bit Man. I hate that he has the awareness to go for that. Who does that? What? And Andrew got such a good lead too. He had all the momentum. All it takes was one insane snipe from Avon Man to the up smash. And you already know, Avon Man, when he knows that he just like robbed a stock from his opponent, he like goes, he goes off the deep end, dude. Look at oh, all yeah, this. Yeah, he does, he does, he does. Look at look, this. Look at this big lead Avon Man has here. Look, he's pretty much understanding what he needs to do to calm Andrew down here. Up, you know, no, no, tilt. Off stage, yep. Oh, and the oh, gyro catches. You're the... dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's de oh, <gasps> you are dead. He His hand, up. yeah. Falcon, Falcon's hand sticks out when he goes for, for up B, and unfortunately, that's good enough to get caught by the down smash. Ape and man was such a powerful lead here, 117. Oh my goodness, he's trying to get the three stock. If he got that gyro combo, I think, I think poor Andrik was was out of here. <laughs> oh man. Okay, drifts just slightly to avoid that, but he's at the ledge in a horrible position. Avon Man has all the tools to secure this last stock right now. Okay, even avoids the Falcon Kick too. Oh, okay, not gonna die to that setup again, but he's he's in dangerous position right now. He is in the most dangerous position indeed here. Okay. Finally, Andrew with a stock opportunity here after he catches the Robo Arms, gets the back air. Is it too little too late here, man? Because Ape Man has such a commanding lead. And he goes for that extra high recovery here. He doesn't want to hit by down air. I feel like Andrew at this point has nothing to lose. He might as well just go crazy. <laughs> just go for the craziest Falcon thing he can think of. Just try to bring this back. I, at least, at least Rob is big. So, like, you can actually get a good combo. No, that's an up -air. But, yeah. Aben Man was already prepared to catch the match out with the up there. And, dang, like, Aben Man got that first stock off of that crazy gyro play. It, it just took complete control of the game, dude. Look, I'm gonna be real, man. We're gonna have to start making top 10 Aben Man moments of MSM online. <laughs> By the time we come back from offline. Yeah, I, I saw that. Like, he went for the downer instead of going for the, the near side B. He could have killed him if he, he just really went for that. Have. Damn. He really could have, man. Andrick, though, he's not far behind, man. I think he's he's definitely <laughs> suffered before, but I'm not going to put it past him to not come back. He's definitely got what it takes, man. He's out here in grand finals for a reason. Yeah. Hopefully he's not too demoralized about that game. He was playing very, very well in the first stock. Right, right, right. If you look at how things go between this matchup in particularly, yes, Falcon combos Rob really, really nicely because of how big Rob is, but the thing that Ape and Man understands is the positioning and use of his projectiles as a zoner to calm and slow down Falcon. If you stop Falcon from moving, you eliminate more than half of his game plan because a lot of that game plan that he has is based on movement with punishes and call outs that he can get for you because of his speed and his great use of all the buttons that he has. Let's see how things go here in game two though. He's been out with the first point on the board. Oh, man, that falling up there connected could have been big for, uh, for Hendrick. Okay, nice punish on the side B. Going for some crazy gyro setups. Andrix is like barely avoided getting uh, clipped there by that. What a, what a strange downer hitbox. 
Oh, deep off stage now, but he's at the ledge. Okay, nice use of an air dodge and double jump to get the center stage. Ooh. Wow. Dang. Really well timed down there. But, doesn't matter. He just falls right into the forward smash. Avian Man, not letting him build any percent lead whatsoever. Oh. It's a lot of damage already. Hendrick has control the gyro for a little bit, but he's not able to really use it. Try to see if you could narrow me to the gyro, but wasn't able to work out there. But it's a pretty decent stream there from Andrick. Up top, up air. Let's go for Ape Man here. He's going to catch the landing from Andrick. And I like the down smash out of oh. here, but this is a big carry for Andrick. Yeah, you want yeah. to get as much damage as possible with that platform and then closing it out with the up smash. Really, really good stuff for him. Not dead just yet, but Avon Man going on the prowl off stage. Very scary position. Super risky there from Ledge. Unfortunately, <laughs> still going to fall into the down smash. Oh, man, he's just barely missing that falling up there. Double up, Ledge, up there. Really, really big is... combo. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of up airs for Andrew. That's so big for him. Look at the percent lead he's got against him. 8-bit man. No Z jump there. He's gotta be careful. Oh, oh, in the oh wow. <laughs> he's like, he's like, man, I keep missing this dare reverse knee. I don't care. I'm hitting this knee. I don't care if it's not true. You're gonna get hit by this knee. I don't care. <laughs> Alright. First game that Andrick's able to take over 8-bit man in this entire tournament. So, the score is a 4-1. Eight oh my god. <laughs> yeah, 4 1 indeed. I think a lot of the damage that we saw Ape and Man take a little bit back there, if you look back at it, he went for a laser, but he didn't go for an angle laser where it hits the ground and then it jumps up. So, in that opportunity, the reason why angle laser, just like angled boomerang for Link or any of those characters that have opportunities to angle their projectiles, is really good is because it hits the ground first. And even if it, your opponent jumps, it hits them at an angle, or if they committed for a jump, it'll still hit them. So it potentially covers two spots. And because he only went for up, up laser, trying to call out Andrick for such a committal jump, Andrick was able to pretty much get around him and then hit Ape and Manny. He was able to bring this back here. Yeah, Andrew's starting to look a little bit more comfortable in this matchup. Yeah. A lot a lot more so than the winners, at least. If, and if you look at how Ape-Man yeah. plays the first game, right? Like, a lot of it relies on slowing down Falcon. We talked about it here in the first game. If you can slow down Falcon, you eliminate a lot of his game plan. No down tilt. Oh, look at this, though. It's a second opportunity, but oh. unfortunately, the armor that he, I'm sorry, the command grab that is up B. Yeah, fortunately for Andrick, he's able to get that grab in before he has to worry about getting spiked or side beat off stage by Rob. Nice. Checks the shield with the poke here. No up tilt up right here, but Ape Man's still with a big lead 101 to 58. He's got to be careful on Andrick though with the grab. Man, he, I see Andrix, like trying to do some things with the gyro, but he doesn't seem to have really uh, fleshed out gyro combos. Oh man, another- Ooh. Wow, is that, is, that his, is that his plan? To actually not get the dare reverse knee, but then just get, get the- <laughs> And that was hard too, because Ape Man had jumped into the second knee, and that was oh. really, really rough for him. Big laser. Oh. Ape Man with a lot of stage control, oh, missing the back air. Good tech. Doesn't tech roll in here. That would have been big for Andrick if he caught that tech roll on the down air. This is huge already, though. Weak yeah. knee from the up air. Okay, he's gonna die to that. Dying off the type to near. Still not gonna sleep on 8-bit man, though. His, his low percent combo game is disgusting. Uh, no, he's gotta not kill like a lot not of like people this. at not zero. Like this. Not like yeah, this. but you, you don't wanna run to all these charge smash attacks from Andrick right now. Uh, Okay, you caught the gyro. Right? Yep. This is big. If you got hit by the gyro, it was really bad. Oh, we have to grab. The man's gotta be careful. Good DI. Good laser. 
This is giving him some time to come back on the stage. Forward air, no combo off the gyro here, but what a good play from Ape Man to kind of come back. Yeah, but even better tech for Mandrake to avoid the forward smash. Mm -hmm. Stock is very important right now. Look at Andrik. Look at that movement. Both Looking to move around Ape Man. He avoids all that. Andrik with stage control. Oh, no roll in, and then the big dash attack to punish. Ape Man really wanted him to jump or roll into him for that up smash to get the kill, maybe, but Andrik's not falling for it. Barely avoiding the side B as well. Mm, and I like that Ape Man coming up with the up air because he doesn't want to get hit Ooh. by down air. But oh, speaking Huge of setups, but great tech for Ape Man. But I definitely love you, the use of the armor on the side B from Andrik yeah. to avoid that. Actually got him a pretty decent punish. This is the down air? Mm, narrowly missing it. Andrew is just hanging on to this stock as long as he can, but as I say that, guys, to another nair off the top of the stage. Okay. Two stone power driver. That's a good forward air. Not enough to put him off the stage here, but you know that Ape Man has the position here. That down, down tilt getting locked down by the down tilt. So good as a pressure tool, man. Like you said, it locks your opponent down here. Ape Man looking for that medium recovery. Look at that movement here. Trying to ease in and out of that range, which Andrew can get the down air. Oh, he wanted him to air dodge into the ground so he can get that force smash. Maybe get an early kill on Rob here. I have a weak knee. Oh. <gasps> the weak knee. Oh. Okay, there's the nair. Off stage again. Ape Man's going to go as high as he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, that's good, that's good. Damn, you barely avoid that up smash from Falcon. Yeah. That would have been really bad. Andrew was looking for the catch of the day, man. Oh. The up smash would have been hit. Ape Man on the landing with neutral air. The gyro, oh, He though. can't carry him? Oh. <gasps> but he didn't get the nair, or the forward air, or the knee. I guess it's just say the knee. Man, it's so close from both players right now. He has the gyro in hand, but now he can get anything off of it. Is that enough to kill? No, Ooh, great, great DI, DI, great DI. Still, though, he's in a scary position. A lot of things can potentially out. kill him. What a call out. And Ape it, man. Punishing that nair with that big up smash out of shield. You look at how in that little interaction, right, Andrik had the right opportunity. You want to hit this man with Nair 1. If he lets go of shield, I can punish him with another way. We've seen Andrik go for Nair 1 time and time again, man. But this time, a big man does not hesitate at that crucial moment to win game three. Pull the trigger, get that up smash, and then push himself here to pretty much set point. That was really crucial because you know how Andrik had been moving around. A big man, you saw the movement. Yeah, he's definitely playing well. He even has Ape Man doing some uh, risky p defensive options when he's in disadvantage too. He's just yeah. not picking the right punch a lot of times or just barely missing. Like we keep seeing him barely miss that down and reverse knee even though he has like the right hit and everything. Yeah. But. Even like I've said it time and time again, right? You see him go for these up smashes. It's, it's for a good purpose. Up smash is such a good opportunity to catch opponents. He was even looking to catch Ape Man on the landing when he went up super high here. But of course, set point for Ape Man. Will he be the three-time MSMO winner? Or does Andrik get a shot here to reverse 3-0 Ape Man? We'll see how things go here, Strides, on Town and City. Mm. Yeah, Andrik was super good on this counter pick before. So I'm not... Uh, super surprised to see this here. <gasps> oh. No. Oh no. Oh man. Really, really unfortunate buffer air dodge off stage. And when when you give Ape Man free SD stocks, I just see this guy like he. It tends to just be very difficult for his opponent to come back. Like he just goes ballistic. Honestly. I would I wouldn't want to see the last game of this tournament come down to an SD, but Ape it Man like, is yeah. determined to end this right now. Great parry. Not able to get a hard punish though. Wow. Nice. That okay. air to catch the roll in was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and to catch the knee right after, that was that was so good from from uh, Andrew. Well, He's a lot more than that though. Ooh, I like oh, the nice. rubble arms there. You know how long that lasts. Able to catch opponents on recoveries. 
Oh. We know how that Falcon's up is a command grab. It's able to beat it out here. Andrik, oh. even though he SD'd, he's looking for having a lot of momentum, but unfortunately, the down throw up air is going to be the thing that calms yeah. him down a bit. You have to buffer air dodge immediately after mashing out like that. Like, buffer air dodge and, like, drift a little bit to, like, the right or left, too. Yeah. To avoid that up air. Oh, man, the gyro setup? No, he just knees him out of there, like, get off of me. Oh, wow. Going for the parry gyro down here. Like, that's actually what he needs to come back here, honestly. Unfortunately, not able to connect that Navy man. He's just continuing this harassment. Andrik needs to do something. Good pressure with laser. Take Look at how that forces out Andrik to go out with shield. Back air. Oh. A lot of shield damage. You gotta be careful. Got the gyro in hand as well at the ledge. Looking okay. for a read on the landing? I like that. Look at that patience from Ape Man. He knows he's got all the control here, Andrik. Trying to find a way to come around here. Close. Oh, man. So much coverage from Ape Man. <clears throat> oh, but is he gone? He's out of here. Ape Man sits him down with the easiest downer of his life. And that's going to close it out. Ape Man takes the third MSM in a row. For third week in a row.